Hey everyone, welcome to another one in Phasmophobia. We're gonna set our evidence on zero once more. And I'm gonna try to show you... Uh, wait, my audio? I'm gonna try to show you how to figure out the ghost with no evidence. But... Oh, sorry. There have been updates, sorry. <laughs> So uh, this is my setup, you can also see it in the description below. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to figure out that goes together with zero evidence. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna set up everything, so see you inside. Okay, here we are. I apologize in advance in case there are any lags because there has been an NVIDIA update and usually after that uh, there are some lags in the beginning. I've heard something. I don't know if it was first floor or second floor. You hear that, guys? The ghost is... Oh my god, this ghost is going crazy up there. You hear that? There's a lot going on up there. What the heck? Ghost, would you slow down for a second? <laughs> this ghost is insane. It just keeps opening doors like crazy. Oh, we got a hiding spot here. Nice. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, so I think it's upstairs. Just looking for the bone. I don't need it, but in case I find it. Oh, we got this hiding spot too. Nice. This hiding spot there looks bad. Yeah, it looks unsafe, but it is safe if you use it right. If the ghost doesn't see you walking in there, of course. The other hiding spots like the lockers and stuff, that's not a bone, they are more safe even if the ghost sees you walking inside. Okay, where have you been playing on? Was that a knock on the mirror over here or the window? Ah, hey there, bony. I don't have an EMF anyways. Okay, let's take care of bony pants real quick. Leave this here. I hope this won't be a mistake. We have an EMF, a photo cam and a crucifix to secure the area right away. Because we could have an early hunting ghost of course. Oh, you are around here, huh? Just blown out the candle, but now it's not doing anything anymore. I'm gonna leave you here for now. Give us a sign. Where are you? Are you here? I mean, I'm gonna find you anyways. Let's see, is there anything? Aha, here, stuff is out of place. Okay. So we found the potential ghost room, but I'm gonna double check it. It could have also been an interaction through the wall, because this book lies here, I think. And if the ghost is in this bathroom, it could be possible that the ghost has thrown that. So let's grab these guys to find the ghost. Of course you can... I've heard a door. Of course you can still use the thermo to find the ghost. If the break has been on for a while, you are in here. Okay. Okay. You are not away. Okay. Got it. Let's leave that in here so I remember that I have taken this already. Um, we have to look for a hiding spot. We don't have all the hiding spots active. There's one here. Do we have another one here? This would be better if we have this one. No, of course not. Okay. Mm, we can also grab this candle for later. Did you open this door? No hiding spots here. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be this hallway or downstairs then. Okay, fine. That's totally okay for me. So I won't lit that candle yet because I won't light it, I mean. Because um, if you're dealing with an Unreal, uh, it has blown out one candle by now. It can start hunt hunting early and I don't want this to happen yet. You have walked out of your room, didn't you? You little sneak. What? I'm gonna put one over here for later for Banshee and Phantom test. I mean, we know it's not a wraith, 
let's set up a bit of our security here. Because Ghosty has roamed outside. Leave this here and put you here so you can spawn on top of me if I'm waiting there. Okay, so also we have to check for orbs because it could be a mimic. Um, these, I'm gonna use them just as a light source and yeah, let's grab another photo cam, phantom and stuff, you know, the drill. <laughs> okay, let's see, do we have any orbies in here? Are you a mimic? Because then we can leave, <laughs> for example, if you... So let's face the door. What? I didn't hear anything. Did you knock on that window? What was that EMF? What the heck? Thank you. Okay, I can't take any more pictures, uh, but I have another cam. Okay. Burnt crucifix. Now I got the crucifix. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. We got an early hunting ghosty, which means the list is much smaller now. And we also don't have to check for Benji and Phantom. You see, it might be a demon actually. But we have to test for um onwheel still. But I don't think it's an onwheel because the candles weren't lit. So I think this might be actually a demon, just as easy as that. So if you have an early hunting ghost, you'd see if you see the crucifix is being used. And uh, you should leave immediately if you got this monitor and check your sanity. If you don't have it, you have to do all that cal weird calculation with the sanity pills, which I'm too lazy for, to be honest. So, as you can see, that's why it was so active. I mean, not all demons are active. Some demons are like shades. So if it hunts, if it tries to hunt above 50%, you can rule out all those guys. I'm going to show you... The, what the list would look like, which ones are early hunting ghosts, potential early hunting ghosts. It would look like that. We don't have many early hunters. The mimic could mimic a demon. I, I've experienced that, believe me. They can. They can hunt you the moment you enter the house and then you think, oh, it's a demon and you go off and then it was a mimic. So. I know it's scary, go back into the house and check for orbs. Try to find the ghost room or just hide somewhere and see if it tries to hunt again. You can sit in the hiding spot with a candle. The ghost won't detect the candle, don't worry. Don't have a flashlight on you. Go with a candle lighter and smudge stick, sit in a hiding spot and see if it hunts again. And you can also do the crucifix test, of course. So in this case, it's actually a demon. So a mare can hunt at 60% if the lights are off in the ghost room. The yokai can hunt if you are talking on top of that ghost uh, with um, local voice chat. If you are talking to your teammates, for example, or if you are talking to the ghost with the spirit box or asking for give me a sign. And if the ghost is right on top of you or I think within one meter range to you, it could start a hunt even at 100%, so be careful. Yokai can also hunt early, but only if you talk on top of it. If not, if you're not talking at all, it can hunt at 50%. The Onweo can hunt at 75 without a candle, but if you got a candle and it, it has blown out the candle three times after the third time, it has a 50% chance to start a hunt, no matter what sanity. But, like I said, only 50% chance. It doesn't have to trigger a hunt every time it blows out a candle. Um, because the candle is like a crucifix for the Onweo. Uh, the Mimic, I told you, and they can hunt at 75% if it's still young. If you haven't been in the ghost room at all, which often happens on um, large maps, or if you're playing on that insanity mode of the game, this mode, you start at 75, so if they could hunt you right away, right the moment you enter the building, just like a demon can do at 100%. But I think this is a demon because our sanity is high. And yeah, you haven't killed the breaker. I appreciate that, my friend. I mean, you are nice. I need to farm some more photos and I'm gonna grab this. Be careful, the ghost could roam and start a hunt outside somewhere, so be careful with that. And yeah, you see 
that's the reason why I got the EMFs right here, right? Because um, you will hear it if it uses the crucifix. So let's grab this and this. Do I have another slot? No. EMF, you go over here. Okay, you are still there. Nice. Let's leave you here for now. Was it that door? I'll take it. I don't care. And for a demon, you could easily farm uh, all the photos by just uh, placing salt and taking pictures of the crucifixes. Where are you going to, huh? Where? You want to come over here? Huh? You want to come over here? You are here, right? Wait, I can grab... You can also use... It's dangerous what I'm doing here, leaving this much, but I'm gonna grab one right here. You can use uh, the UV light to see where the ghost is. If it stepped into the salt, of course. Then you can see the footprints. But I was a bit too slow. But you can also leave it... Or you can leave a glow stick, whatever you want. And um, see if the ghost walks. And as you can see, the demon doesn't have to try to hunt all the time. So it tried it once. Now it kills the breaker. I think it's gonna hunt soon. There's no hiding down there. Which is not that good. Let's get into the basement, turn that breaker back on so we can see something. Because the ghost highway is not ready, of course. Because, yeah. You need s I need some time to set up my ghost highway. If I get my ghost highway set, I don't care about the breaker anymore. Because, um, okay, except if you have a gin, of course. But um, no need to care about the breaker. Because... Um, I'm gonna show you the ghost highway, what it looks like. Because the ghost is there, we're gonna hide here. By the way, on my settings the ghost can change room. And I won't let go of the smudge now, you shouldn't do neither if you're dealing with a demon or a potential demon or any potential early hunter. So you got some defense on you in case... Yeah, you see? That's why I use I set the crucifix in first. So yeah, I can light the candle, but it's not an unreal for sure. I can tell you that. So since we got some hiding spots downstairs, I can grab this here, put it here as a light source. Boom, and that's our ghost highway. We got sensors. We're gonna know when the ghost approaches. And you can also test the demon by doing this. You see, the ghost room is there. Put the crucifix here and see if it stops the ghost. Damn it, I thought you were hunting. What was that? Ah, did you turn on the lights in here? Oh, you did. Now you go back, you little piece. Yeah, of course. Okay. Ah, uh, by the way, the smudge effect only lasts for um one minute for the demon. So you can look at the recording time and at the time I've smudged it. And uh, yeah, you will see. Oh, that's another event. What the heck? Why Why do these ghosts keep doing that? And you see, now it's going back and I can show you. There are the feet, you see? You can see the footprints with the UV light. So UV light is actually useful, even if you don't have evidence, because you can exactly see where the ghost goes to. Especially if you're checking for um, the Banshee or the Phantom, then you can see, did it walk to my location and stop there or not? Just a little trick. If you are not patient enough for this, okay, you won't do that. But let's see if it's gonna use up this crucifix. It's now in the room. We'll, we got the sensors. We see where the ghost is right now. Let me just grab a second smudge, just in case everything goes south. We get the lights over there so we will know when the ghost uh, kills the breaker. Oh, that was Teddy. You've heard that? EMF goes off because of the Teddy. Again? <laughs> so this is a true demon, actually. Uh, a right you can hunt at 65 if there's electronic stuff around. I think the sensors count too. I'm not sure, but I'm n I know. You see? See, the ghost didn't leave the room. That's the range of the crucifix for a demon. You saw that? That's also another way to test for the demon. You see, the ghost is still in there. And this crucifix outside here stopped it. It prevented the ghost from hunting. And it can hunt again technically after 25 seconds again if it wants to. 
For any other ghost, the cooldown is um, is 25. See, and I've removed it and it started hunting immediately. And I bet if I go back to the truck now, my sanity is still gonna be above 50%. The rest, the demon doesn't have special speed or something like that. Hey! See? It's normal, normal speeding up, normal blinking. Oh my god. <laughs> my side speakers are way too loud. Now you can count the time at about, I don't know, 15.30. We've smudged, right? So let's see if it tries to hunt again. Now the activity is increased because I've smudged it. Because if you smudge the ghost, even during a hunt for the smudge effect time, usually 90 seconds, the activity is increased. But for a demon, I think it's gonna be 60 seconds because the smudge effect only lasts 60 seconds. But my sanity is not below 50. If As soon as you drop below 50%, I think the demon's gonna do chain hunting it's more likely to do chain hunting. Let's leave it like that. <laughs> At zero, I think a demon is nearly unstoppable. That was me, don't worry, it's not here, he's in there. So let's see, a demon could hunt soon if... Yeah, see? See, that was the 60 second time. That's also a way to figure out the demon, but... Now we have been lucky because it actually happens. Sometimes if they decide not to hunt after 60 seconds, they just won't hunt after 60 seconds. But these are the ways to figure out the demon. I mean, hunting above 80%, it can only be a demon, right? Because all the others hunt at about 75, the early hunters like the Onryo and the mare at 60 when the lights are off and stuff like that and now it could hunt again in 20 seconds because i didn't smudge it so you got a short time window to get out for the demon you got five seconds less and as you can see we are still above 50 percent so yeah i mean as scary the demon is it's an easy ghost to figure out because you will know right away it's a demon and the demon is the reason why I go in with this set of items. A candle, a lighter and a smudge stick. Because the candle gives me a bit of light. I know all the maps, that's why I enter with the candle. And um, also the candle prevents your sanity from draining, which means for the time you're walking around in the house, turning on the breaker, looking for the ghost, looking for the bone, maybe if you got it in your settings looking for the cursed possession you won't lose any sanity at all no passive sanity drain in the dark that's why i go in with the candle and in case it's a demon and it starts hunting early because this ghost could have hunted the moment i've entered the house then i would have gotten at least one smudge stick to defend myself it may still go wrong because if you don't find a hiding spot because you haven't found a hiding spot at this time because you may have just been in there for 10 seconds you have to be a little bit lucky, but be aware if you have a setting where you don't have setup time, the ghost can hunt you the moment you enter the house, especially if, it, if it's a demon. Only the demon can, of course. So yeah, um, remember how this picture looks, what the picture looks like right now, because you see the ghost and you see that glitchy effect, it's distorted, you see that? If you're dealing with a phantom, you will have this ghost and whatever star, how f it depends on how far you were away from the ghost, but you won't see the ghost in the picture and you won't see that distortion effect. If it's like that, then, then you got a phantom. That's the way to figure out the phantom. But be careful, if it's only a one star picture, it could be possible that you won't have glitchy effects and maybe the ghost is too far away to see it on that. So better rely on the three star ghost pictures i mean you can only take one ghost picture but if you're doing a zero evidence one and you have to chance to take another picture of the ghost that's closer where you can get that distortion effect just do it and look at that picture then so but you can also figure out the phantom uh, using uh, the stalking behavior and by looking at it during the hunt because it has a different flickering but 
this is one of the ways to figure out the phantom. So no glitchy, no ghost, but this writing here means phantom. So yeah. Um yeah, as you can see, the ghost has eaten I think three charges of crucifix. Has hunted twice. How often yeah, I think twice. I allowed it to hunt. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it hunted again after one minute after being smudged. So yeah, that's a true demon. And I bet if I let the sanity drop below 50, it's gonna do chain hunting. So if you're dealing with a demon, be quick. Put all the salt and put in the crucifixes, no matter where you put it. If you hear it, for example, if you heard, oh, the ghost spawned somewhat around this area. If you don't know where the ghost room is, just drop the crucifix here in the middle. You saw it before, it was a good example. The ghost was in there and the crucifix in the middle here stopped it. Because the range is increased for the demon. So, yeah. I think that's all I can say about the demon for now. So, it's a scary ghost if you don't know how to handle it, yes. But you get much more defense items here than in, for example, Demonologist. You got only two crucifixes there and the Revenant there is like the demon here it can hunt at any sanity if it wants to i mean the ghost has to decide there are also demons that only hunt at 50 percent or later that could happen you can encounter a lazy demon of course so but you can still use the crucifix thread and um the smudge stick thread but it can be difficult to figure out the demon, but if you have a demon like this here, this was the perfect example of a good demon, how a demon is supposed to be, what a demon should behave like and look like and do. <laughs> that was a good example. How often? So it used its abilities seven times. I don't know what it means exactly. I think that means hunting about 50%. Every time it tries to hunt, it means it has used a, an ability. Let's count it three crucifix charges and I think we allowed it to hunt twice but what are the other two abilities I'm not that sure about that in case you know the number you can write it uh, in the comments and in case you got any more questions about how to figure out the ghost with zero evidence just let me know and I think I'm gonna do some more videos about it to show you different ghosts different examples because the ghosts are RNG here you can select what ghost you will encounter so we will see a variety of ghosts, <laughs> many different ghosts. So yeah, I hope this helps you to figure out the ghost at zero evidence. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.